Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 11.09 a.m. It's Friday, December 30th, 2022. Today's my last day of work for the year, see what I mean? But anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing another one of these International Delight coffee drinks. This one's an interesting flavor, so I was excited to try this one, you know? But, um, I knew the last two was probably going to be, like, basic flavors, you know? But, um, anyway, um, this one sounds like it might be pretty good. We shall see. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Oreo International Delight Iced Coffee Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who has a silver top, silver tab, the bomb's the Best Buy in production code. Best Buy, March 11th, 2023, so it's still fresh for a while. It's not a labeled can, it's like a smooth texture. Right on the top it says Oreo, naturally and artificially flavored, international delight, iced coffee made with real milk and cream, serving suggestion. Shows the iced coffee in a cup, you know, with ice in it. Um, 15 fluid ounces, 443 milliliters coffee and milk beverage, and it shows some coffee beans and some Oreo cookies. International delight iced coffee, it's just like we dunked Oreo cookies in your iced coffee. Real milk, real cream, it shows the Oreos again in the coffee beans. Has a production code or some code in the SKU. Other ingredients, coffee, filtered water, coffee, skim milk, cane sugar, cream, pectin, cocoa, processed with alkali, salt, natural artificial flavors, contains milk, produced in a facility that also processes soy, wheat, and tree nuts. Distributed by Dan 1, U.S. LLC, Broomfield, Colorado, 80021. Contains approximately 90 milligrams caffeine per can, which is the same amount of caffeine as a Mountain Dew Kickstart. Um, Copyright 2020, White Wave Services Incorporated, Oreo and Oreo Wafer Design, a registered trademarks in Mondelez International Group, used under license. Metal Can, the Recycling Loco, How to Recycle.info, Dan One, probably member of the Dan One family, and some more recycling stuff. And then Best Served Chilled, Shake Gently, Refrigerate After Opening, Nutrition Fat. Um, serving Size 1 Can, 443 milliliters, amount per serving, calories 220, total fat 5 grams, 6%, saturated fat 3 grams, 15%, trans fat 0 grams. Cholesterol, 20 milligrams, 7%. Sodium, 420 milligrams, 18%. Carbohydrates, 40 grams, 15%. Dietary fiber, less than 1 gram, 3%. Total sugars, 36 grams, includes 29 grams. Added sugars, 58%. Protein, 5 grams. Vitamin D's are micrograms, 0%. Calcium, 180 milligrams, 15%. Iron, 0 0.6 milligrams, 4%. Potassium, 880 milligrams, 20%. Feel the love of your money back. Call phone numbers 1 800 441 3321 for a full refund. Limit two refunds per household per year. Proof of purchase may be required at internationaldelight.com. Give us a shout out. Hashtag Creamer Nation. Has a Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram logos. Use no later than Best by Date printed on the bottom of can. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. So, let's you see it real quick. But, yeah, I got this at Dollar General. It was $2.65. Um, the last two flavors I got at the, um, a gas station, it was $3.59 before tax, so it was $4 for one can, so, yeah, this is definitely cheaper at Dollar General, but I went back to that Dollar General last night, where I got, um, this one and the next one that I'm going to be reviewing, I got these, like, a couple of days ago, but I went back there last night, and they had, um, the last two that I reviewed, the vanilla one and the mocha one this time, so if I waited a couple of days, I could have got them cheaper, you know, instead of getting them at the gas station. Because now, um, it'd be about, like, $3 for one can instead of, like, $4 for one can. So, a little bit cheaper than getting out of the gas station, you know? Um, so definitely try to look at your Dollar General. Some Walmarts might also have these. So you might be able to get them even cheaper than a Dollar General if you can get them at Walmart, you know? Um, but yeah, when I went there the first time, I got this one, and the next one that I'm going to be reviewing, they didn't have the vanilla and the mocha one, and I know I seen the vanilla one at that gas station, that's why I went there to get it, and I also had the mocha one there. I was going to get the mocha one at Walmart, because I know they had the mocha one at my Walmart, well, the Walmart Supercenter don't Malgi, but um, they didn't have the vanilla one there, so getting out of the gas station saved me the trip to go into Walmart, you know? So, you know, it was like, you know, going to be busy, you know, because it's still around the holiday times. Um, but, I mean, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. So, I'm going to show it up, up closer real quick, so hold on a minute. The Oreo International Delight Iced Coffee Drink. Shows the Oreo cookies and some coffee beans. It 
Silver Top Silver Tab. Best Buy date, March 11th, 2023, so it's still fresh for a while. Like the symbols on the logo, it shows the iced coffee in the cup, coffee beans, and the Oreo cookies. It's textured can, well, it's a labeled can, but it has a smooth texture. This one is like a little bit messed up. The logo is like squished a little bit. This key, other ingredients. The distributor information and stuff, copyright info. Now for the nutrition facts. The rest of the can info. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. So now I'm gonna finish my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I shut off the can up close and I'm gonna shake it up a teeny bit, open it, taste it, and get my review for it. So hold on a minute. Yeah, they also had this can before. Well, this flavor of the International Elias Coffee in like one of those big cartons, you know? Sort of like a juice carton, but um. Yeah, it's an iced coffee carton, and I explored a little bit when I opened it, but I'm um, anyway. Um, I tried the Reese's um, Inter International Light Iced Coffee in the carton before, but um, I don't think they have that one available as a can, though. Um, they Hopefully they'll release it as a can version sometime. Um, but yeah, the color looks just like the mocha one. It's like a dark brown color. There's a little bit of that white froth inside it. A little bit wider froth, but still brown, you know. But I'm um, it's definitely lighter, you know, than the liquid. Um, but yeah, the smell. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, 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 well. It smells similar to the mocha one, but definitely different. Yeah, it definitely has like a cookies and cream sort of scent. Um. It's like if you got iced coffee and mixed it with like that Hershey's like cookies and cream milk from like um, Dollar Tree. It's like that. Definitely has a cookies and cream smell, and it's mixed pretty evenly with the um, the coffee. Um, actually, the cookies and cream might actually be overpowering the coffee in this time. Um, yep, still smells similar to the mocha one though, because Oreo sort of like a chocolate cookie, you know. So it's sort of similar to mocha, but um. Yes, definitely cookies and cream though, um, mixed with the coffee scent. Um, but still similar to the mocha one, you know, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, definitely a very strong pungent scent. Still sweet smelling though. Yep, definitely chocolate, vanilla, coffee, see what I mean? Um, yep, really, um, definitely really, you know, pungent smelling. Um, but um, anyway, I'm not gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And yep, yep. This one's really tasty. Really flavorful. It's really smooth, it's like watered down. Um, these are definitely not as thick as like Java Monsters and like the Starbucks drinks. Cause this is, you know, like iced coffee, so it's um, pretty smooth, you know? Definitely watered down, but um, it still has a little bit of that creaminess in it though um especially you know when i shook it up you know i have that froth so yeah it has a little bit of cream in it but um yeah and it's not as thick though as like the chocolate monsters and stuff but um it's still pretty good though this one actually might be a little bit thicker than the um, mocha one and the vanilla one it's still a little bit watered down but um yeah i think this one is a little bit more creamier see so what i mean so it has a little bit of a better texture to it you know um, but yeah, definitely tastes really good. Yep, and definitely tastes if you mix like iced coffee and like that cookies and cream milk. Um, that's what this tastes like. So yeah, if you tried those, definitely try mixing them. Because yeah, this will taste just like that, I guess. But yeah, it has a cool can design. Um, it was okay priced. It was $2.65 at the Dollar General store. Um, could be cheaper at Walmart, you know, if your Walmart has this flavor. My Walmart only has the mocha flavored one. Um, but I think it was like... Um, I think around 250 maybe there or maybe like 238 or something i don't know can't remember but um yeah it was definitely cheaper at walmart you know 
Um, so if your Walmart has this flavor, definitely get it there, you know. But um, if not, definitely check Dollar General. Um, but yeah, energy-wise, though, definitely get you a little lit. It has 90 milligrams of caffeine, the same as a Mountain Dew Kickstart. doesn't have any B vitamins, though. So let's say energy-wise, it lasts about two and a half hours to about three and a half hours of energy. So, oh yeah, boys, it'll definitely get you a little lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And um, I forgot to mention the last two that I drank. These didn't really mess with my anxiety, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's really tasty. Really good cookies and cream coffee flavor. Um, tastes similar to the mocha one, but it's definitely different, though, because it has a little bit of that vanilla taste, too, though. See what I mean? Um, I like it, but um, I think I like it about the same as the mocha one. I don't know, they're both similar tasting to me, but um, it's good, but um, hmm, I actually really like this one, I already almost drank like half of it, but um, I don't know though, something about it though, um, just wish it was a little bit thicker, but um, it's still really good though, I don't know, I don't know if I should give it a 10 out of 10, I don't know, still something about it though. It's not really like a full 10 out of 10 for me though, but it's still really good though. Um, probably be like a low 10, but like a high 9. Um, I don't know. This one's really good though. So yeah, definitely try it. I'm going to give the Oreo International Delight Iced Coffee Drink. You know why I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10? So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Energy wise, it works pretty good. It has a cool design. It tastes good. It's okay priced. Definitely try if you can find it. It's pretty good. Definitely a really good, interesting coffee drink. So, yeah. Definitely really tasty. See what I mean? So, yeah, I love Oreos and I love coffee. So, yeah, this is a really good drink. See what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. And in my next review, I'm going to be reviewing the Caramel Macchiato flavored one. Stay tuned for that review. So, I'm not going to review some more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.